and what he stands for are a real threat to our fundamental values and our way of life. I come to this fight now as a proud Conservative, who has campaigned, by the way, in just about every seat in the country, and I believe in the innate decency of our country, in its genius, and in its hard-won freedoms. I believe in setting people free by equipping them with the education to achieve their dreams. I believe in the vital symmetry between free market economics and superb public services, and I will do absolutely anything I can within the bounds of the Constitution and the law to prevent the government of the UK from passing into the hands of those who, by their total disdain for wealth creation, their contempt for the normal aspirations of millions to improve their lives, would compromise our ability to fund the NHS and so much else besides. My friends, we cannot let them anywhere near Downing Street. The last time, I would remind you, that I faced an emanation of that cabal. I defeated him when the Conservatives were 17 points behind in London. We can do it again, and we must. We can get Brexit done, and we can win. We can unite our country and our society. And that is why I'm standing to be leader of the Conservative Party and Prime Minister, because this contest is not chiefly about any one person, or even about the Conservative Party. It is the opening salvo in a battle to restore faith in our democracy, to renew the natural ties of affection that unite the UK, and to protect this country from red-toothed, red-clawed socialism of today's Labour Party.